Welcome back, everybody. Another oil testing series. Uh, Mac T Garage. Yeah, gonna have another oil. Went out to the local Blaine's Farm and Fleet and uh, found me a quart of their famous oil. And I thought maybe I'd do a test on it. Hey, two sixty nine a quart. What can you say? But anyway, got the Mobile One here, extended performance five twenty synthetic oil. Thought I'd mash these two together to see where they stand as far as their testing data and their, uh, you know, their numbers. Let's see what the lab says and let's compare the two to see which is the better value as far as what we're doing with our oil. So starting off, we got the Mobile One Extended Performance 5W20 and we all know that we've done another uh, comparison with this and testing exam before so we'll just glaze on through it for $8.98 a quart at the old Wally World and uh, the test came back clean mobile sample the lab says not a problem it is a serviceable oil now moving on we got the Blaine's Farm and Fleet 5W20 and we went to Blaine's and we got that for a whopping 269 a quart holy cow uh, no telling what the, what's going on here but that's a pretty cheap oil if you really want to look at it test came back and it said that uh, in this case the uh, metals weren't unusual for the virgin sample and it has plenty anti-wear ingredients in it I did test this one for the total base number and it came out to a little little 6.5 on there which is about normal for most oils so they said it's gonna go ahead and do the job if I decide to run it in my edge or my truck yeah my Ford Ranger whatever I want to run it in uh, I can run it in there. Ford Ranger takes a different weight, but hey, what can you say? Uh, let's see. Got the uh, testing results. Go to the aluminum. We got one to one for the oils as far as the VOAs with a universal average of zero. Say, so, let's see. Chromium. We had a double lot across the board for those two with a universal average of zero. Then we have uh, as far as the mobile one. We had a zero for that as far as the iron and one part per million in the Blaine's Farm and Fleet with one being a normal universal average. Copper was double lot, zero, zero across the board all the way through the universal averages. Lead was also zero across the board for both of these VOAs and tin. Tin was a zero across the board also. Now we get to the molybdenum. That's right, Molly B. And we come in with the Mobile One at a 71 parts per million of the Molly B with the Blaine's Farm and Fleet for 269 at an 84. Uh, I guess they wanted to make sure it had enough, uh, enough that uh, Molly B in there to keep things running. Nickel was, of course, zero all the way across the board for everything. Manganese was zero also across the board. Silver was a one part per million in the uh, oh, wow, silver in the mobile one. Hey, you might want to straighten that out and sell it. But anyways, there is a zero in the Blaine's Farm and Fleet, but one part per million in the mobile one. Titanium. Wow, hardly even mentionable, but the Blaine's Farm and Fleet put two parts per million titanium in their oil with zero in the mobile one. Uh, potassium was two and two across the board for both of the VOAs for the oils with one part per million being a universal average. Boron, mobile one tossed in 86 parts per million boron, whereas the Blaine's Farm and Fleet did just four parts per million. And then the silicon was three for the mobile one parts per million and five parts per million for the Blaine's Farm and Fleet with a universal average of three. And let's see, sodium, three across the board for both VOAs and it's a 58 parts per million universal average for sodium in most VOA samples. Calcium, here we go. We got a good amount of calcium, but the Mobile One only has 873 parts per million calcium, whereas the Blaine's Farm and Fleet topped it off at 1,079 parts per million, with the universal average being far higher at 1,896. So neither one of these oils have an outstanding amount of calcium in there, which is generally going to be associated with your TBN numbers, too. Uh, magnesium. Uh, let's see, the Mobile One had 676 as far as parts per million for its uh, magnesium and the 
Now, Blades Farm and Fleet came in at 394, about half or so of whatever was going on in there. So, not really a big thing with the universal averages being just 88. Phosphorus, Mobile One had 646 parts per million, whereas the Blaine's Farm and Fleet had 753 parts per million, with the universal average being 657 parts per million. All right, the zinc. Everybody loves zinc, but we don't want too much of it. But anyway, the Mobile One comes in at 708 parts per million, with the Blaine's Farm and Fleet having a good healthy dose of 823 both within pretty much the specs for zinc and the universal average is 771 and both oils have no barium in it and the universal average is zero. The SUS Viscosity 210 degrees Fahrenheit we have the mobile one coming in at a 53.4 and then the Blaine's Farm and Fleet is 55.1 universal averages between 47 and 57 are acceptable CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius. We have the mobile one at 829. Yeah, that's right, 8.29. And we have the Blaine's coming in at 8.79. Not much difference between the two. And averages that are good are between 6.4 and 9.7. So everything's good to go. Flashpoint. Ooh, the mobile one's got a higher flashpoint, which in, it might indicate maybe a little bit better grouping of oil here, but comes in at 440, and then the uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet comes in at 425. Uh, basically, you want anything over 400 for these oils, so both are definitely above the spec as far as that goes. Uh, no fuel is found in the oils. No, antifreeze was present, which is good. It's a virgin oil sample. And then water. There's nothing in there, so they got a clean process with no water. Insolubles, there is nothing to be found in the insolubles. I did not do a TBN test for the Mobile One Extended Performance, but I did do it for the Blaine's Farm and Fleet, and that came in at a 6.5, which is decent enough. And a lot of oils I've tested have come in at a 6.5. So... What do we learn from all this? Well, basically the higher price uh, Mobile One, you know, than the Blaine's Farm and Fleet at 269. Uh, at Mobile One at 898 a quart. Holy cow. We're getting up into some serious territory for price here for this extended performance. Uh, the, it's estimated that this oil is probably more than likely mostly Group 3, but some Group 2 may be added as a mix to it. Uh, is it a good oil? 3 to 5K for the city run, I guess, is what we're really... They're saying it's going to last longer, but, you know, to be honest, city driving adds up the hours, so uh, not too sure about that, but, hey, watch your manufacturer's warranty with this stuff. Uh, basically, follow your owner's manual on it. The uh, Blaine's Farm and Fleet basically is much lower than the Molar One, and uh, I'm going to say this thing is probably Group 2 or 3 oil, a uh, good heavy mixture of probably two with some three added in. But either way, it's still probably going to be a good three to five K city oil. I wouldn't go much further than that with it unless you do testing. And I have not done testing on this to show you samples. I may do some in the future. But basically, always follow your owner's manual as far as your information goes with that. Also, let's do the numbers. That's right. We got the mobile one and their total numbers. And then we got the... Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Anti-wear for parts per million total was 1,425 for the Mobile One. And the anti-wear parts per million for the Blaine's Farm and Fleet was 1,660. Ding, the wind goes to the Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Uh, detergents in part per, part per million for the Mobile One Extended was 1,635. With the detergents for the Blaine's Farm and Fleet at 1,477. Ding goes to the Mobile One Extended Performance. Total number. That's right. We're going to add them all up together. And we have the Mobile One Extended coming in at 3,060 parts per million combined as far as those additives. And then we have the Blaine's Farm and Fleet coming at 3,139 total for their additives. So we're going to have to give this win over to the Blaine's Farm and Fleet as far as the total numbers that go in here. Uh, again, no testing has been done for used oil to see how this TBN thing works out, but uh, I would probably do it in the future, but I got a lot of other oils ahead of 
uh, this one before I can get to it. But this is what the tail of the tape is for the laboratory testing. So a little bit of information for you all. I hope you all watch more of these videos as I come up with more of them, more lab testing. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Mac T Garage on YouTube. Also Mac T Garage on Facebook if you want to come talk about these engine oils and any other oils or even your garage fixing your car, whatever you want. It is pretty much a one-stop shop as far as everything goes so these results will be posted on mactgarage.com website so if you want to access any of the information there you can do so through our sheets and also our uploads that we put on there periodically but uh, hey my feet hit the ground today and i'm having a good day and i want you to have a good day too don't forget band of one play some great music and mercy grill has a couple one-liners for you Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.